Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, Gamer Joe here, bringing you a quick rundown on how to open the glyph door. Uh, I'm surprised not many people realize on how to how the light mechanics in this part of the raid works. Uh, this is a, I I kind of figured it out the first day. I assumed it was common common knowledge, but it seems like every group I run with assumes that you have to wait for the light to reappear before you can run back to your partner. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on how it works. Uh, first thing you're gonna do is two people are gonna go right like we did to the right totem two people are gonna go left to the left totem and two people are gonna be uh, Stay in the middle and they're gonna switch off uh, When the time comes the way that it works is uh, you run down to your totem The first person that goes through the light and grabs the light gets the totem is gonna have a 30 second countdown um now, once that countdown gets to zero, you're going to see something that says Death Singer Power times 10. Um, wait, just wait about two, three seconds once you see that for the countdown to pass off to your buddy since there is a bit of a delay there before it does. If you're too far away from your partner or you run off, he will not get the countdown and it's just going to be a team wipe. It's going to screw everything up. Uh, so the way that it works is once you get your Death Singer times 10 and it pass off to your partner, you're going to run up to the middle, stand in that middle circle there to get rid of the, the, uh, the, get rid of the Death Singer times 10. Um, once you're on your way up, you let the person in the middle know that you're on your way up so they can start running down and switch off to you. As soon as that person runs inside the light bubble, they will automatically have the light with them. They do not need to wait for it to respawn. Um, and they just ha basically have to stand there and wait for the, uh, counter to the, uh, countdown to switch over. Um, every time somebody runs up in the middle and stands in a circle, you're going to get a knight that comes out up top. He's going to come out the door. Make sure you take him out or he's just going to kill everybody that's under the totem. Um, it is literally that simple. Just switch off, kill the knight, and, and wait, for, wait for you to get Death Singer power times 10. And then you just run up in the middle, and that's, that, that's pretty much it. Once you get up to the middle, your job is to take care of any ads so they don't overwhelm everybody under the totem and uh the kill any witches that come outside the door um it, it it's literally that simple not sure why nobody uh why a lot of people don't know that you just have to run in the light to get it um you don't need to stand and wait for it to reset up at the top there where we grabbed it from the beginning and it works out it works out so beautiful and so smooth as long as everybody just keeps a steady rotation going um communication is key if you don't communicate you're not going to pass any part of the raid that's kind of common knowledge but in that way since vault of glass if, it, if you have any questions or anything like that leave them in the comment section i'll try to help you out um with that said happy raiding guys i'll see you in the next video